Hey guys, it's Alicia. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be doing how to make a YouTube custom thumbnail. It's very quick and easy and so follow my steps. If you're new here, consider subscribing and let's get into the video. As you can see, I'm on Canva.com and Canva is a really good design website to create your YouTube thumbnails or channel arts. So we're going to do thumbnails today. What you want to do is search YouTube thumbnails and there you can see it has YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so I'm going to make a thumbnail for this video. What you want to do is head to, so in this you have features such as templates, elements, which are like photos, graphics and shapes to adjust your pictures or let's say images. You have text, so different text fonts and sizes. You've also got background. So I consider getting the free ones because they're more easy and more reliable, I guess. But with the one that you purchase, I don't really think that's a good idea. You got uploads, so if you've got pictures to upload, so I've got some of the pictures here. You've got folders and other apps. So with the first one, I consider not using one of the templates. But if you're new here and you really are struggling, please use the templates. Otherwise, if you want to be creative, try your own. Try your own experience. Get your own experience, I guess. So what I do is usually pick a background. So I'm just going to, for this video, I'm going to pick a background like this one. This one's a really pretty background. I totally like it. It's calm and relaxing. And I would go to uploads. So I've got heaps of pictures here. Alright. So with this one, I'm gonna use this one, this picture here. I think that's covering the whole thing. So I decided that I would make a little smaller. Right there. I pretty much adjusted it. I'm gonna make it a bit longer here. So let's get bigger. And once you've done that, you would think on having a title to make it more, let's say, more clickable and more satisfying for your viewers or subscribers. So I would go to text and pick a favorite text that I like to have. So for this one, I would do um, let's see, I'll do Camilla and Matthews. I don't think that's even a font, but that's what I'd use for now. So I would write my channel name. So my one is Think Tech. And then I'll write the the actual title. So it's gonna be How to Create Custom Thumbnails. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't require having a, okay, writing at the bottom, but I would adjust the size. So I'll keep it to 32. Actually, no, bigger. Let's do 56. That's more easy to adjust. How to create custom thumbnails. And I would recommend having another picture, like a logo or something. So I would do YouTube. You can do whatever you want, but I'll do YouTube logo. Sorry, my writing's a bit crooked, but let's go to YouTube. Hmm. Which one would be suitable? I'll do something more like general. So this one, I'm gonna, whoa, that actually, that's a moving one. I'm, I don't think I would love that, but Love something that would stay frozen. I don't want it to be moving onto my screen. That would make it too luscious. I don't think that would be great. No, not the PNG. I'll do this one actually. This one's better. Perfect. Now I have it saved, I'm pretty sure, in my downloads or uploads. I'm going to do upload an image. I'm going to go to all my files and I've got this screenshot here already. 
Now you can see on the side it's just loading. And what I like about Canva's custom thumbnails is that they provide you with all the templates you want. They provide you with all the uploads, all the features that you really want to have on your thumbnails. And other YouTubers I'm suggesting do use Canva as their number one priority to make thumbnails. Or otherwise people use Adobe, some of the Adobe apps. Anyway, I'm going to click on YouTube here. And I'm going to adjust it somewhere here. I guess this writing would be in the middle. I'm going to put this here. And having have it a bit on an angle right there. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that does look good. I hope it does because that's what I think about custom thumbnails. Anyway, okay, so this looks amazing. I totally recommend it. And what you want to do next to save it is go to download up here and file type PNG or let's do PNG because that's like a high quality image. And I'm going to do page one. I accidentally did a page two, but I'm going to do page one because that's the one I considered most on. And we'll click download. Perfect. And it does take a bit of time. Let's close this. And when I click on it, it does look good. I love it. I totally recommend it. And I hope that you try your own custom thumbnail. And that's the end of this video. So please like and share, subscribe, comment down below what custom thumbnail creator you use because I use Canva and I'm recommending it to you. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.